everybody. This is Vince Miller. Thanks for joining me for this segment of Ask Pastor Vince. I just take your questions, do my best to answer them in three minutes or less. Here's the question from this week. It is stated, is it wrong to celebrate Thanksgiving due to the controversial history behind the holiday? So good question. So over the last few years, this has become more and more debate with the rise of deconstructionistic kind of thinking, right? So here's a couple of thoughts I've had as I look at the topic as a Christian. Number one, I never want to ignore the truth of history, right? Number two, I never want to celebrate sin. Uh, I don't want to ignore history because honestly, I am a truth seeker. I'm seeking the truth. And I know this, every once in a while, history can get spun into positive a direction, dismissing certain facts, or it can be spun into negative of a history, dismissing certain facts. In fact, as we look out at the world today, history is getting spun in every which way you can think about it, right? By media, by government, by education, and even by the church, unfortunately. And so I'm trying to pursue truth in my journey as a follower. Number two, I also don't want to coincidentally <laughs> or intentionally celebrate sin. I don't. No one wants to celebrate sin and injustice, or at least I hope that they don't want to do that. But the history of Thanksgiving, as I understand it, was that it was instituted by Abraham Lincoln over 200 years after the initial pilgrims landed in this country. And he did it in an effort to bring together a very divided country at the time. He was a attempting to get people to set aside their differences for a while, imagine that, and find something to give thanks about. And I think sometimes we can look at history and dismiss it or cancel it or even distort it or give it meaning to mean whatever we want. But we got to look back at what was intended by it. Well, I'm just going to let you know I'm going to celebrate Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> and like I always celebrate it, there's going to be food and there's going to be football and there's going to be family there. And guess what? I'm going to look at Thanksgiving through a Christian worldview. And I'm going to give thanks for what God has given to me. In fact, Paul says this in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. He says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So celebrate it, give thanks, and give thanks to the one who deserves it more than anyone else. God. If you have a question, write in, let me know at vince at beresolute.org.